And welcome to Ott and Math. In this edition of Ott and Math, we're going to use what we just learned about rectangular solids and pyramids uh, and the Pythagorean theorem to solve two problems. So it'll be fairly short uh, in this particular edition. So let's get started. First question, I have a cube. Uh, find the measure of the diagonal in terms of x if AB is equal to x and then AC is equal to x. So remember, in a cube, it's a rectangular solid in which all of the edges are going to be congruent. All right, so if I say that AB is going to be x, then I know that all the edges will be congruent. So let's go ahead and solve the problem. All right, so if I say uh, AB is x, then I know that all uh, of the edges are x. I can say that BC is x. And if AB is x and BC is x, I know I have a 45, 45, 90 triangle in ABC. That means that the uh, uh, face diagonal AC is going to be x root 2. If A, well, let's call this D, if AD is also X because it's a cube and the length uh, of all the edges is the same, then AD is X and AC is X root 2, then I can figure out that DC is going to be X root 3. So I have X, X root 2, and X root 3. And what I do is I just use my Pythagorean theorem. I know X squared plus AC squared, or AD squared plus AC squared, is equal to cd squared. So x squared plus x root 2 squared is equal to d squared. x squared plus 2x squared is equal to d squared. d squared is equal to 3x squared. And d is equal to x root 3. So the answer again is x root 3. All right, next problem. Next problem. In the cube, find the measure of the diagonal in terms of x if x is uh, uh, if AC is X. So now I say AC, the face diagonal is X. I need to figure out what, in this case, DC is going to be. Well, if uh, this value here is X, I know this is a right angle. Is it like spread through Right, so if I know AC is equal to X, I can figure out what AB and BC are. Well, I know that AB squared plus BC squared is equal to AC squared. So I can say that really 2AB squared, because BC and AB are the same length, 2 times AB squared is equal to X squared. So I'm using the Pythagorean theorem here in order to solve for X. So if 2AB squared is equal to X squared, I know AB is equal to X squared over 2. Uh, I'm sorry, AB squared is equal to X over 2. If I take the square root of AB squared and X squared over 2, I get AB is equal to X over root 2. Now I have to rationalize the denominator. Ultimately, I get AB is equal to root 2X over 2. All right, well, if AB is equal to root 2X over 2, I can say that AD is equal to root 2X over 2, because again, this is a cube and all the uh, edges are going to be the same length. So if AD is root 2X over 2, and AC is X, I can figure out what DC is because that's the hypotenuse of my right triangle ADC. So 2X, root 2X over 2 squared plus X squared now is equal to the distance of DC squared. Uh, root 2 over X, over, or I'm sorry, root 2X over 2 squared is the same as X squared over 2 plus X squared is equal to D squared. X squared over 2 plus X squared is the same as 3 halves X squared. Uh, so I know 3 halves x squared is equal to d squared. If I take the square root of 3 halves x squared, I can use my quotient property of radicals to separate both the numerator and denominator out. I have r the square root of 3x squared over the square root of 2. Now again, I have to rationalize the denominator, and I can factor out of 3x squared a perfect square in x squared. So I have x root 3 over root 2. And then I multiply both the numerator and denominator by root 2 over 2 to rationalize the denominator. And I get x root 6 over 2 as my answer for the length dc. OK, last problem. And this is really actually a very short problem. The face diagonals of a rectangular box are 2, 3, and 6. Find the diagonal of the box. I have 2, 3, and 6. Um, and I want to find the diagonal of the box. So it would be the length from this edge here to this edge, that would be one of the true diagonals, not a face diagonal in the box. And the answer is, if I think about it, 
I can't have a triangle here. I've created a triangle 2, 3, 6. I can't have a triangle uh, because this triangle does not satisfy the triangle inequality theorem. 2 plus 3 has to be greater than 6. So remember, the triangle inequality theorem says that any two sides have to be greater than a third side. And in this case, I have two sides which are less than the third side in the triangle. So I cannot, in a rectangular box, have uh, face diagonals of 2, 3, and 6. Pretty tricky question. Uh, hopefully you didn't go through too many computations in order to figure this out. Uh, but if you recall, a lot of the content in Geometry and Rich is based on prior content. So hopefully that came up for you as you were doing the problem uh, and you figured it out simply without too much of a hassle. And that's it for the problems uh, for this chapter of Pythagorean Theorem and Space Figures.